In today's video, I've made an inspect system for the Roblox FPS template. Instead of a model, there will be an uncopied log game in the description. But I will show you what lines you need to copy over into your game if you don't want to use the prepared template shown in the video as a base. Whether you'll be using the template or following my instructions for copying over the necessary lines, there are a few things that you'll need to know before you can fully use this template. One major thing that you'll need to add is a few attributes to any new weapons that you'll create or old weapons that you've already created. First, go to Starter Pack, and for instance, I'll just click on Auto Blaster. The weapons included in the template already have the attributes added, but if your weapons don't, you'll need to scroll all the way down to Attributes and press the plus icon. You'll need to add a number value called Inspect Time, like this. Then choose the amount of seconds that you'd like for the inspect animation to last. For instance, I put 5 seconds. The next big thing is adding a new inspect animation to your view models. If you're using my templates included inspect animations, you will need to re-upload the animations with an animation spoofer. Otherwise, you will not see an animation. To add an inspect animation, go to Replicated Storage, Blaster, View Models, and look inside of your view models. I'll just do Auto Blaster. There you will find an animations folder. If there isn't an inspect animation inside, you can just duplicate the reload animation and rename it to inspect. I just modified the reload animation to make it look like an inspect animation. I've also made a video explaining how you can create your own animations for the Roblox FPS template, which you can go check out. Now you're all set. If you want to just copy over the necessary things into your game, you need to of course add the things I've just mentioned, but on top of that, you need to also copy some lines of code into your game. They're kind of spread out, so I've come up with a simple way for you to copy everything you need while keeping everything organized. To copy everything you need over into your game, press Ctrl plus Shift plus F inside of my template, and this should pop up. Then, search for the keyword Inspect. There will be about 43 results. If the line is part of a function that has the word Inspect in its name, copy the whole function into that specific script. If it's just a line and not part of a function that has the word inspect in its name, just copy that line into the place where you found it. For instance, inside of Blaster Controller, we first have this line that's inside of the self table. It's not part of a function that has the word inspect in it, so you can just copy this line and paste it into your game's self table. But if we look down, we will see a function that has the word inspect in it. When you encounter a function that has the word inspect in its name, or as its name, just copy the whole function to your game script. Since this is in Blaster Controller, you should put it inside of your game's Blaster Controller script. Try to also put it around the same area where you found it. So you should put this function above the activate function, and repeat that process until you've copied everything into your game. Making this a model would make it much more complicated and confusing, so this is the best option in my opinion. Let's playtest it. As you can see, if I press F, the inspect animation plays. The blaster's inspect animation is the exact same as the sniper's inspect animation. So you can just reuse the same animations for this if you'd like. The blaster has a different inspect animation. The blaster's inspect animation is the same as the knife's inspect animation. The only things that will stop the inspect animation is if you shoot, reload, or unequip the weapon. For instance, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. And don't forget to vote in the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.